Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. This is a review for The Real Housewives of Potomac, Season 8, Episode 1, Projection and Deflections. This episode, and you know what, guys? I'll just throw it in here um, at the start of the video. <laughs> in When I was doing, when I was taking my notes and everything, um, I watch it. Um... I take all my notes on Mondays and so it's pre-recorded. And so I just fast forward through the commercials and sometimes I be skipping <laughs> pertinent scenes. These weren't pertinent scenes, but I did that this time. Two scenes. I missed it. Completely miss Candace and Chris having a, having a scene completely miss Giselle and, and this man, Jason just completely skipped over it. And I only found out about that after watching other reviews. And I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> that happened? Oh, let me go back. Yeah, I skipped it. And so it's gonna be skipped. It's gonna be skipped here, but I'll I'll double back and, and we, we can talk about it. But <laughs> we lead with with Robin and Juan's lies. It was all a scam. It was all bullshit. Giselle. Um, she mentions, you know, there she's in her confessionals because all the girls are talking about it. She mentions Juan and the girl in Canada. Then they play an episode of the um, Reasonably Shady podcast where she kind of admitted what, what was going on. Um, and y'all remember all of this when all of this broke. Um, then they replay the Watch What Happens Live episode where she was supposed to own up to some more stuff and and, and all she did was make excuses for Juan and lie. <laughs> um, she tried to feed the lie. She tried to feed the lie to us. Okay, they keeping the lie alive over there. They keeping the lie alive. Um, she says that they weren't physical. You know that he was just helping her. Juan's just such a good guy. Juan's just such a good guy. He just helps everybody out. Girl, please. Juan need to help me out. I'm about to go see if I can get some money out of Juan. I'll I'll report back if if I'm if I'm successful. Since he's so helpful, I mean, help us out. <laughs> um, she but it it just seems like she always has an explanation. Oh, there's always oh, Juan said. Robin is at the house. We see she's looking at wedding picture, wedding pictures, family photos. She's putting them in frames. Then Juan gets home from the gym. And then, then we have this very awkward conversation um, between the two of them. They just got back from the Bahamas. You know, it's like a family trip. Um, but now, you know, it's back to reality. You know, Robin says all the noise about the girl in Canada. You know, she's just kind of like segueing to every single blog <laughs> that that had something to say about what Juan was doing. Juan was caught and caught 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 with a girl in Canada, caught at the laundry mat, caught at the nail salon. It was just back to back to back things. Not to mention all of the stuff that had happened um with him losing his his job. Um but he he gives the story again, saying it's it, saying it was just a misunderstanding. He said he he explains it again for the class. He says that this girl, you know, that he met, they were, you know, they had had an exchange on social media, I assume. And um, he says that she was going to see a Baltimore Ravens player that she was messing with. And uh, first, first, first thing, first, first red flag. Okay, Baltimore Ravens player. Why isn't he responsible for the hotel stay? Why she didn't call him? Robin, it's just like, Robin, do you sit there and just say, hi, what you be looking like when you sitting there listening to the lies? Is it like this? Do you just sit there like this? Or like, do you have this kind of look like? What, nigga? Cause this this is the face you should have when he be talking to you, but instead he is able to swindle, bamboozle, run you amok. Dumbass! It's just like, girl, what you really took that and just ran with it, and now you gonna tell us and we all supposed to believe it? No, don't be mad at me, cause I got common sense. <laughs> because I'm using my good brain. 
I need you to use yours because that don't sound right. Right there, right there. We're going to stop right there with the Baltimore Ravens player not paying for her hotel stay since that's who she coming to see. Where Juan come in at? No, she was, going, she was going to see Juan. That's why Juan paid for it. That's why Juan's signature on the receipt. Because he flew her out there. <laughs> or maybe she maybe she bought her own plane ticket, but Juan was responsible for that room. Girl, why you ain't went around there to ask questions? Anyway, that whole scene was just them. Because I'm not even finna rehash verbatim. Because both they asses is sitting up in our faces playing. Both of them. This was like, it It, it gave, it, it was cringe. It was so cringy. It, it, it read like <laughs> they had had a conversation prior to. On some okay, so we have to we have to debunk and you know we have to prove these people wrong. You know at the at the start of this, like we have to lead with that. We have to pretend to be getting in front of it. I don't know. I don't know what what their angle is, but if they thought they explained it away, they did not. They did not. You look more guilty <laughs> now than you did before, Juan. Juan don't care though. Juan's whole thing, his whole disposition is, I don't care what them people think. I don't care what you look like out in public. I don't care. He just doesn't care. He don't care. The girl in the, the, the laundry room incident, that there's an explanation for that. Her name Bria. That's his assistant. So why she couldn't do the laundry? Like, ain't that her job to assist? Send her ass to do the laundry. Why y'all always in places together? Like, you don't need intimate moments with your assistant. You don't need to be at the nail salon with her. Get her to make the appointment for you, and then you and Robin go. Or go by your damn self. But the fact that you up in there with her, and then people can see you, that's the problem, Juan. You keep making her look a fool. Because she, she going to be a fool for love. <laughs> she going to be a fool for love. We see that. Po thing just don't even realize it. It's just, girl, you wake up. Stand up. Damn it. Anyway. Um. Karen. I'm moving on. Karen. Karen looks so damn good. This wig she was wearing. I love the wig that's brown. And then we have the really light highlight right in the front. Beyonce has done that before, and I love it when she does when she does dark hair. I love it. Um, but this on 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 Karen, wear that one again, Karen, because that one that one is nice. That one is nice. She's meeting Candace and Wendy for drinks. You know, Wendy looked Wendy uh, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy looks so good. Wendy looks so good. Her outfit, the, the the color up against her skin. The skin was skinning. Wendy is a beautiful woman. She really is. I hope she knows that. I think she does. <laughs> I think she knows. Um, she like, if, is it okay if I, would y'all judge me if I order water? They were all like, yes, girl. If you don't get a drink, a cocktail, that's why we're here. Wendy says she was, she had stopped drinking for Lent. Lent is over, ma'am. Get on, get on these margaritas. <laughs> so she orders a margarita. Um, she say, and come to find out. Wendy is Catholic. She keeps a rosary in her, in her, and keeps her rosary beads in her purse. We're all like, girl, you could have been pulled out your rosary beads for these hoes. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's like a little known fact. I wouldn't have put her at Catholicism. You know, I just wouldn't. Not to say, you know, anything is wrong with it. It's just like when I be seeing black Catholics, it'd be like, really? <laughs> you know, because Christianity be snatching us up. Me snatching this up. Not to say anything is wrong. Let me just get off the topic. Let me just get off the topic of religion altogether. Um, they're talking, you know, about um Robin, <laughs> because again, all of this stuff is is has has surfaced, and now we're seeing it because they were filming. Um, they feel like Robin got some ownership to take. Like you, you, it was given deflect, deflect, deflect so that nobody's talking about me and what I got going on. That's what it's looking like. It's looking like 
we were the scapegoats, the three of them. Because Giselle and Robin knew what was coming down the pipe. And so to keep all the heat off of that, let's, let's tear them down. That's exactly what they did. <laughs> That's exactly what they did. Candace say what had her wig, what, 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 what blew her wig back to over there was when Robin did the Watch What Happens Live interview and she sat up there and said she thought that Karen was going to be the one to bring it up. She was waiting on Karen to bring it up. <laughs> Producers asked Wendy if she's ever, like if she's been completely honest about her life and when Wendy was like, oh, good question. I have. I have. You probably done left out a little bit. I'm sure they all leave out a little. You know, everything don't need to be shared. But when it comes to what Robin's going through, girl, don't even play. <laughs> if everybody else's marriage is up for discussion, so is yours, girl. Um. Anyway, Karen... She says, Robin, you know, got some explaining to do. That's it. That's all. She going to have to, she going to have to see them. <laughs> she got to see them. Ashley's a homeowner. The house is lovely. She says she's going with Seaside. I hate the Seaside house. I hate a Seaside looking house like we, like we living in Florida. You know, that's how they decorate in Florida with the Airbnbs. Everything is seashell this and Seaside this and. Get these seashells off of everything, please and thank you. <laughs> Get this damn uh uh what you call it? they be having the damn what's the thing called? It has a little anchor on it. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The life, the life, the life float thing. It be having an anchor on it. Get that off my wall. Get them nets and them seashells off the wall. I don't want to look at that. Just cause we own the water like that. Come on. <laughs> that's what that's what Ashley said she was going for. Sea sea size, seashell, all that. All that. It's cute though. It's cute. It's a five bedroom house. It's a big house. It's a nice house, nice size house. She says that um Michael's house is I mean Michael's name is still on the mortgage, so he's still paying the mortgage. She ain't in no rush to change that arrangement. And part of me is like, girl, I do you. You know, do you, because your dumb ass ain't getting nothing. <laughs> you ain't getting no alimony or nothing like that. You didn't make sure you was going to get paid. So, I, might as well let the man pay for your living. But then again, he can always snatch it from you. So, you might need to make the change at some point, girl. Build you a little nest egg or something and, and, and make the change. Because you don't want Michael to have control over you. And your finances and, and where you live and your car situation or none of that. <laughs> none of that. She say Michael don't live there. He comes by every now and then, but he don't have a room. Yes, he do. Whatever room you sleeping in. Cause I know that I know they still hunching. I know she's he's still sending her a little coin here and there for whatever she needs. We know he's still taking care of you, girl, which is why you, you you're the reason for the hold up with the divorce and all of that. Cause it probably ain't gonna be one. I feel like Ashley playing with us, <laughs> and you know, like this is let's give it storyline. Like y'all agreed to it, cause Michael don't want to be on here no way. This is a good way for Michael to not have to film. It's a good way for him to not have to come around, be worried about Candace and them. None of that. It's a good way for Michael to just stay off the scene, and you can just you know. Continue to collect a coin on TV. Because why y'all ain't divorced yet? And you done sat up and said it's you. The reason is you. You're the hold up. Why are you holding things up, Ashley? Because you still want that man. <laughs> you still want his money. <laughs> you still want access to his money. She's trying to bleed him as much as she can. Um, she FaceTimes um, Giselle. And um, she's sharing, you know, that she recently went on a trip with him, you know, just as co-parents, just as friends, you know. Um, Giselle thinks that they should get Robin together and have a moment, you know. He feels She feels like th they need to sit her down because all of this stuff about Juan is too much. 
it's too much. It's too much of it happening <laughs> all at once. And I know that she's affected by it. They need to check in on her mental health. Because um, she's delusional. Giselle said she didn't want to use the word delusional. But that's what you mean. Um, anyway. Mia and Gordon. They are back at the pen, back at the um, penthouse. You know, they, they, they had to move out of the house. Gordon, Gordon said he's not walking away from millions. You know, like when it comes to the business and them putting him out, he's uns he don't know why. Um, and he feels like at this point it's going to be a legal thing and he's going to have to take their ass to court, you know, because he's not, again, he's not walking away from the millions. He helped build this company. He was a CEO, all of that. And, he, and they just booted him out. Mia don't understand either. She don't get it either. Um, but since then, she stopped being their marketing director. Mia told us she was a CEO, didn't she? Anyway, <laughs> Mia be lying. We, we can't believe her. He was like, you know, like, because they've proven that he didn't do, there was no foul play on his part, you know, no mismanagement of money or nothing like that. He did an audit. They did an audit, all of that. And so, and it proved there was no missing money, no, like I said, no mishandling of the funds on his part. Um... And he he kind of he kind of rubs it in Mia's face because she he feels like she believed that he might have done something illegal because she was questioning it and she's like, listen, I had to ask, <laughs> I had to ask for the sake of my kids, I had to ask. I'm sorry, I had to know, <laughs> I had to know whether or not you was stealing. I had to know. Um, he's about to make him a cocktail or something, and she she tells him that um. She's not drinking. He's like, you not? You just had a glass of wine yesterday. Oh, I'm not drinking hard liquor anymore. She felt she feels like she's she she's a bit too much off the liquor, and so she's gonna stick to wine. Girl, you can be a bit too much off wine too. Inebriated is inebriated. <laughs> it does. However you get there is however you get there. If it can get you drunk, it's gonna get you drunk. <laughs> anyway. Um, she, she, she and Gordon feel like she's, she's going to have to reach out to Karen at some point because she owes Karen an apology. She owes her an apology and she does. I'm glad that she, I'm glad that she is accountable for that. Robin, she meets the girls at Giselle's house. You know, Ashley and Sharice are already there. Um, Giselle gets straight to the point. You know, this is an open forum kind of situation, you know, we, so we can just talk. Ashley shares, you know, that I wasn't sure if you were being honest, you know, with me or yourself. I just, I just didn't know. <laughs> like, I just, I just didn't know, especially after hearing all of the stuff that she's heard, you know, all the rumors that are swirling. Um, Robin explains the Brianna girl, the girl, the laundry, the laundromat situation, and she's stabbed and blah, 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 blah. She just reiterates all the lies. Um, she's just like... She feels like Juan, um, no, not she, Giselle. Giselle feels like Juan is seen out here with all of these women and there's no respect for you. Like, it's so what you know who she is. So what? Why? Like, she's a beautiful woman. She's young and single and all of that. Why, why does he not care about the optics? He should care about the optics. Both Robin and Juan be on some, I don't care. I don't care about that. But you on TV, so you should. So if you don't care, then don't care about the ridicule, the backlash, or none of that either. Because it's tearing Robin up. It really is. It's affecting her. Um, But she wants to pretend like it's not. But it is. <laughs> it absolutely is. Um, Sharissi. Sharissi. <laughs> Shout out to Alexander Rogers. That's how he says it. And when I read it, I said it. <laughs> anyway, she checks in with her mental health. Like, you know, like, are you good? Because she, all three of them share that, that, you know, public humiliation, you know, coming from their husband and their husbands being linked to other women and all of that and men. And so they know. They know how that feels to have to sit up on this TV, on this platform and defend your what defend your spouse, defend your marriage, defend all of that. 
Um, and it's not easy. It's not easy. And so they want to check in with her. Sharice is like, I, I am, I have been sitting where you're sitting. I've been the one excusing him and, and, and making excuse after excuse after excuse for him. Um, just really sitting up accepting the cheating for years and years and years on end that he, he, he would be in long-term relationships with other women, with other women relationships. She didn't say little flings. She said relationships. So he really courting, whining, dying, and falling in love. Excuse me, what? And then she said, and then he finally just got up and left her after she accepted all of this. Not to say that this is her, that this is going to be Robin's situation, but that, that lady sitting back looking like, I, I, I feel like I'm looking at a mirror. Same with Giselle. Same with Ashley. I saw this um, <laughs> on Instagram. I can't remember what blog site it is, but they had their pictures up. <laughs> And the song, it was like, have you, did you watch the premiere of, of Housewives of Potomac? But the song they was playing, they was playing, <laughs> they was playing Destiny's Child Girl. And it was so befitting because that's exactly what the moment gave. <laughs> I've been knowing you since you were 10. You cannot hide from your friends, girl. <laughs> I got a tickle. I got a tickle. I got a tickle because... <laughs> Because it was so perfect. It was so perfect. Spot on. Spot on whoever whoever the social media person is over there at that at that blog site. <laughs> That's exactly what they were doing, okay? Girl, I could tell you've been lying and you need somebody to talk to. Girl. Don't you be ashamed, okay? <laughs> don't be ashamed. No, you don't have to be ashamed, Robin. We get it. They get it. You can be honest, okay? You're amongst friends. Robin be like, she be defensive, of course. What y'all want me to do? Cuss them out? Judge Giselle is like, it's a start. That's a start, girl. You can start there. Start with cussing out. Then we can lead to putting them out. You know, like, let, let it be a snowball effect. Come on. <laughs> Come on with it. That's what we saying. Or just say, you know what? I just let that man cheat in peace. That's just, I just let him cheat in peace. And, and then, and then nobody would have anything to say. Oh, getting a picture. Oh, I can't wait to look at it too. It's a picture of baby Jojo. It's a picture of baby Josiah. Um, she's going to tell him. I think that was it, guys. I'm tired of talking about Robin. Because it was the Robin and, and, and Juan episode. Um, oh, what I missed. So what I missed was Giselle and this man, Jason. Apparently, she said she, they, it's been a whirlwind fling. And they just have they just have so much sex, and I guess, and all of this. And I, 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 I didn't even need to see it to not believe it. Giselle, that boy like 21. I just don't even believe you would want to be with somebody that young. Not even for sex. Because, no, not even for sex. Maybe a man in his 30s. For her. You know? N n not no 20-something. Not no Is he 20-something? I don't know. Because remember, I fast-forwarded, guys. Cause, <laughs> so I missed it. I miss how young he is and all of that. But I know I've seen the, pi the pictures of them. And it's just... Mm -mm. Mother and son is what it's giving. I don't... I don't mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I also missed um, Candace and, and Chris talking about... Um, the situation with Robin and, you know, all that. So, you, cause, cause like I said, to this episode, we, we had to do damage control for Robin. Um, which didn't really help. None of this helped her <laughs> at all. Um, but that's what it gave. That's what it gave. Let me move on to, um, Married to Medicine. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Buzzfeed and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light.